the challenge was to get the 67.9, and, and we uh, broke that by over 10 miles per gallon. Wow. But the, the real thing that we learned here at uh, 77.9 MPG is that the Passat really does walk the walk. Other manufacturers like to talk fuel economy, but uh, Volkswagen, they talk the talk when it comes to providing uh, the average customer, you know, a, a great car to drive that just, absolutely blows the EPA completely out of the water, the smithereens in fact. Yeah, and uh, Wayne, uh, so you, you broke the record uh, by driving it like in, in normal conditions or is there anything, uh, I mean I know that uh, to, to gain uh, this uh, mileage, I mean there's a way to, to drive these cars, right? I mean like... In yeah, and I'm, I'm the individual that coined the term hyper mileage, so I have a whole toolbox of tools I can reach into to you know, maximize a, a particular segment or a particular um, downhill or uphill. Um, but mainly it's to keep your speeds down. You know, we were traveling the right-hand lane between the speed limits uh, in what I call a ridge ride, moved over a little bit. Um, when we repeat traffic, we hit an off-ramp and then come back on after that's cleared, things like that. But uh, basically, you know, you don't set a world record by wearing, you know, uh, uh, let's say a 100-meter dash. If Hussein Bolt went out, put some slippers on, with a 20 mile an hour headwind in the rain, he's not going to set a world record, you know? Yeah. So we did have to push the envelope a little bit, and we did that with uh, slower highway speeds. And then when we got off the highways on the uh, empty back roads, we could really let it loose. And the, the Passat TDI just uh, really came through. I did see uh, your your video on the uh, the convertible oh, yeah. TDI that you had. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. And, yeah. uh, yeah, you're kind of having fun with, you know, you can have fun with these vehicles, yet you still get the great fuel economy that uh, the turbo diesel provides. Yeah, so going back to the, the actual driving, you were saying that you were going probably, uh, um, I mean, within uh, speed limits and all that, but how, how slow were you going and how fast, I mean, it, because you, you, you spend a lot of time on the road, I mean, and, and uh, you cover a lot of distance, so, I mean, you couldn't have been, like, just, like, crawling, I mean, you were, like, almost normal conditions driving, right? Yeah, it's, um, of course, we fought the hurricane, um, tropical storm leaving, and then the 20, 25 mile headwinds up in, uh, you know, crossing Oklahoma, Texas, and New Mexico. But besides that, it was a, it was just a, basically a slower speed cruise. And again, between the speed limits, for example, the, the low speed 45, uh, maximum speed 65, we're in the 50 ish range. You know, um, top speed on some of the downhills, we actually had to, um, you get an engine braking and to main our stuff, maintain below the speed limit because that's we're electronically tracked, so we had to be very careful that we didn't exceed the speed limit anywhere. And you know how tough that can be. And on the bottom, when we could let loose on the bottom, let's say we could coast into a small town that had a 25 mile per hour speed limit running through town, you know, we might have been doing 55 on a three quarter mile back, and then you just let it glide, um, you know, and slow down that way. And it really boosts your fuel economy when you can coast that long of a distance into these small towns. Yeah, uh, we're talking again with Wayne Gretis, founder of CleanMPG.com, who just uh, completed a, a tour of uh, more than 8,000 miles around the continent of the U.S. on a Volkswagen Passat TDI. And uh, Wayne, have, do you have other records, or this is your first one? No, I, um, I own multiple records, um, two Guinness records, one for hybrid now and or hybrid now, and one for non-hybrid in the diesel. But basically any car I try to get into, I try to find out where that maximum fuel economy occurs during my review, um, along with a standard, you know, 70 or 102 mile drive route that I do. It, let's, let's push it. It's, it's not zero to 60. It's how far can it go in a gallon of gas in, in my respect? And, and it seems that, you know, automobiles of, of any type, it doesn't matter if it's a, a car, truck or motorcycle, they all can be pushed to higher levels than what their EPA stickers are showing, and that's that's basically the the term, you know, hyper, what hypermiling means is beating the EPA of what that whatever you own and drive. Yeah, because as we saying, know, yeah. saying that, yeah, it works. It really works. Yeah, uh, because as we know, those uh, numbers that appear on the stickers and the window stickers, the Maruni as they call it, on, on on the new cars. I mean, those are estimates, and those are done under like. Perfect conditions and like um, right lab conditions for yeah, sure. Exactly. And they aren't even driven on the road. It's a dyno. Exactly. So I mean, for consumers, it's really important to to do the experience, right? I mean, to go out in the car oh, and drive it as you as you know. I mean, like, what, what would be your recommendation for people to not get too disappointed with those numbers? 
Well, the good thing, you know, I'm not expecting everybody to go out and, and get 78 miles no. per gallon in a Passat <laughs> TDI. But the good thing it, is, it, it, buy it, 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 it will be a very big Guinness Book record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, um, it, talking, you know, auto journalist to auto journalist, um, we get to drive a lot of vehicles, of course. And there's certain cars that meet the EPA and exceed them, and there's certain cars that don't. And whenever you buy, whenever you drive a Volkswagen diesel, just pay attention to your fuel economy and, and watch. If you're in an all-city environment, you're going to beat the city numbers. And if you're on the highway, you're going to smash the smash the numbers. And it, and it just comes because diesels don't get the same benefit or break on the EPA that gasoline and hybrids do. And because of that, you know you are you're satisfied with your results because you do exceed them quite often. And, and a perfect example is after my review of the uh, Passat TDI last fall, my dentist um, ordered one, and now he drives a Passat TDI with a stick, a 2013, and he's getting 50 miles per gallon back and forth in Chicago. Wow. This is from a car that's rated 3143, and he is just totally satisfied with that. And again, it has to go with, back to the diesel versus hybrid and non-hybrid. Not, not that you shouldn't look at those, too, because I do promote those vehicles. Yeah. It's just that the diesels always provide more. They just always provide a lot more. Yeah, and I think we touched on that uh, that point in our previous conversation that a lot of people still have their doubts about diesels. But I mean, this uh, this y your new Guinness World Record is like proof that these cars are fantastic. Obviously, you have the experience of driving in the way you do them uh, to to achieve these these uh, records. But I mean, this is great, great technology. Oh, great! And uh, the drivability, and that's something that's really hard to explain over the phone. And I'm sure you have a hard time explaining it in your videos and, and on the radio. But when you drive a diesel, you are driving torque. We all drive torque. You know, somebody can say a horsepower rating, but to rev a car up to 6,000 RPM and drop the clutch to get anything to come out of it, that's, that's not normal driving. A diesel, they put out maximum torque from such a low RPM that it's always available. You're, you know, from a stop all the way up to, you know, where its red line is, which is much lower than a gasoline car. It's easier to drive because there's much more performance available at lower RPMs, meaning that's the area where we actually drive at. When you yeah. start from a stop, from idle, there is a lot of torque available from a diesel that you can't get out of a gasoline car, and it just makes it a more enjoyable experience to drive. Excellent. Uh, and Wayne, uh, tell us uh, shortly, I mean, what was one of the, the, the brightest uh, point? Obviously, I mean, I guess getting to the end, but like in between, what was one of the greatest moments of this uh, experience for you? Well, the, the, I guess the most interesting thing is the challenges that we, we uh, faced on this drive. We, we literally had strong headwinds for about 75% of the drive, and we only had a tailwind for maybe 10% of the drive, unfortunately. But uh, the challenge was that when we could break loose, the Passat kept coming back. You know, we'd, we'd get hit with headwinds, and, and we'd see fuel economy drop below 70% with massive headwinds wow. and then later on in, in the evening when they died off a little bit you'd see the numbers keep ticking back up and it's a it's a testament to what the car can do is it never lets you down it, it kept fighting with us and it provided the numbers we wanted and on a more personal experience we were at uh, two gas stations uh during during the circumnavigation and Two guys, one in an F-350 pickup truck um, with a diesel, and another guy in a in a Ram pickup with a diesel. They wanted to trade us title to title after they saw <laughs> what we were doing and the results we had. So, you know, those are just two anecdotal little uh, little pieces from the road, but it, it makes uh, it, it it made the experience all the more richer. Let's Excellent. put it that way. Well, congratulations, Wayne. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, I guess people can find all about it on cleanmpg.com, right? That's correct, and thank you very much for having me on, Javier. Thank you very much, and uh, good luck on uh, your next uh, adventure. I think it's going to be as, uh, as, as exciting as this one. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ahí estaba Wayne bye bye. Grittes, el fundador de CleanMPG.com, que acaba de establecer un nuevo récord Guinness manejando el Volkswagen Passat TDI eh, con la tecnología Clean Diesel de Volkswagen y ha establecido un nuevo récord por haber transitado por los 48 estados continentales de Estados Unidos, una distancia de más de 8 mil millas y más de 70 millas por galón eh, en la carretera y en la ciudad, un récord eh, que no solamente es, eh, es, es sensacional por lo que significa, sino por la por exponer la nueva tecnología diésel de Volkswagen. Y no se vayan que cuando regresemos aquí en Auto 060, 
Vamos a hablar de las novedades de Acura, de Ford, de Chrysler y todo lo que viene para el 2014. Esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota.